For today's photo ride, I'm en route to the shivering mountain, Mamtor, which is located just outside Castleton in the Peak District. There are only two shots I'm after today, one from the top looking across the valley with the S-bend of the road in the foreground, and I'm using the trip as a bit of a recce for when I come back later in the year for one of my bucket list shots. And the other one is just a standard sunset, but first, a quick stop for a possible reservoir shot from the side of the road. The background at this first location had looked really promising, with a big hill and radio mast filling in the white space at the top, and the sun being blown out and allowing for some lovely lens flare from the left. I much prefer to get as close as possible to how I envisaged the end photo in camera, rather than adding effects and stuff in Photoshop afterwards. Ah, oh, this couple gave me a nod and a wave on the way past. I'd passed them a little bit earlier back and pedalled along in encouragement as I overtook them. I found I'm so much friendlier towards other road users when I'm on my bike. Oh, friend! Now, I won't say which reservoir this is just yet, but feel free to guess or work it out and let me know in the comments below. Now, the foreground, as you can see, was really overgrown. I would have liked to have got closer to the water and um, possibly would have got a really good shot from the other side there but uh, it is all on private land so obviously I had to stay this side of the fence to get the shot. I'm sure that's not going to get cut down anytime soon so I'm going to get in touch with the, uh, the landowners and just ask for permission to go on uh, one afternoon and take a couple of pictures. Um, I'm sure they won't have an issue with it. Right, on to Mamtor. After one more stop for a shot from a lay-by along the way. I love a lay-by shot. You park up, set up, take the shot and bugger off. Ha, <laughs> sounds like a no-nonsense assassin. Stay out of shot. <laughs> You're not in shot, don't worry. It is. So this shot was taken looking back the way I'd come towards Chapel on the Frith with the hills in the background. I wanted to capture the haze and the faded muted colours of the hills as they blend into the sky. The only thing I don't really like about this one is this, again the foreground, um, but you know, it's a, it's a field. What, what were you going to do? And now, with just enough time to spare, it's on to Mamtor for the main event. Sunset! <laughs> And here we are. Mamtor's elevation, I can't call it a summit or a peak, is 517 meters, but it's in the Peak District, which is called the Peak District for good reason. So as elevations go, it's a bit of a misleading one. Mamtor's prominence, which is <clears throat> the measurement from base to tip, sorry, 
is just 62 meters. And yes, this has been confirmed by a woman because it was originally measured by a man. For the ascent, there's a choice of stairs, which gives some great views along the way up, or a much longer, much gentler route around the outside, passing by the road that slips away, which we'll cover later in the year. Now, I'm not getting sued because someone finds the stairs too dangerous or the long way around too long, so make your own minds up when you get to the bottom. But for info, there was a young lady with an oxygen tube using a crutch as a walking stick who took the stairs. But, also for info, I had to stop halfway up, so swings and roundabouts. With sunset being just after 4 p.m., this was always going to be a flying visit, so we took the stairs, and I made the smart decision to do the voiceover afterwards because there was no time to waffle, and I can occasionally waffle. Now, with landscape photos, the sun's usually not in shot, so even though you're using the sun as a light source, you're exposing for your subject. And with sunset photography, and of course sunrise photography, the sun is in shot, and so it is a potential subject too. Now, as a light source, it is considerably brighter than the rest of the landscape, and so exposing for the sun will make the rest of the landscape very dark, while exposing for the landscape will blow out the sun and most of your highlights. Now you may want one of these for artistic reasons. And it was at this point I was getting itchy for my next delivery. More on that in another video, as I wanted to zoom in way further than the 105 millimeters I had available to me. But I'm using a 6D, which is full frame, so I can crop in pretty far. It will do. You know what they say, shoot with what you've got with you. For my first shot, I've exposed for the clouds and the landscape at the horizon. I like it more now it's cropped in like this, but I still want rid of this corner of foreground, and I'm unsure about this valley on the left. The sun, the sun's rays, the clouds, and these hills in the background are exactly what I was going for, and I wanted to keep that water visible as well. Uh, the tops of these trees could be sharper, but I think that was motion blur, so it was a bit windy up there, so I might weigh the tripod down next time. I also took this one, which was zoomed in further, but I feel the change in depth at this focal length makes it all feel a bit too close, and those hills in the background are nowhere near as nice as the, as the wider shot. And onto the third photo. So I have mixed feelings about this third shot. The sun's blown out because I've exposed for the rest of the landscape, but I've got the S-bend at the wrong angle, and part of the road is obscured by this hill, which didn't really bother me at the time, but it feels a bit off now. I do, however, like how the ridge of the hill acts as a separator between the warmth of the left side of the image and the cold of the right side. Oh, and no, my lens is not dirty. These are paragliders. I'd remove them if I was going to keep this shot, but I'm not. This is almost the bucket list shot that I wanted. Well, 65% or so. But I knew I'd have to return later in the year when the position of the setting sun is where I want it. And I can then fine tune my position accordingly, make sure everything's in shot. Did you have a favourite shot? Have you been up Mam Tour? Did you take the stairs? Have you got an S bend in your road? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to click the relevant buttons to support a fledgling channel in need. Until next time, cheers.